Ah, making a video. Nimming the video. Yay. Um, subjects. Okay, let's see. Go Daddy Sucks. That'll be the title. Um, but yeah, it'd be on different things that suck, uh, probably. Um, yeah. And explanation of, you know, just all these little different aggravations. Uh, some programming stuff we'll get into even. So, listen at your uh, discretion and such, your interest level. Uh, nothing, well, you know, you just can't say, you know, you just never know. The video might have something profoundly interesting in it, but I just don't know yet. And you won't know. Because I won't know what's interesting to you. But this whole ambiguous bullshit, the whole sloppiness of the existence of this game we're playing, you know, just how sloppy all the life stuff is. It's just so poorly, it's so underdone. But I mean, this last comment is just an example. Hey, Gary, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a solicitation, which is really nice. I can get some youthful tyant. Tayant. Anyway. Um, <laughs> ooh, hot. Um, but anyway, um, it's just, you know, a little bit ludicrous, isn't it? I mean, a public solicitation to sex with an ambiguously undefined person of who knows what form or shape. But, obviously, they're confident enough to say, Hey, I'm sure you want to have sex with me. <laughs> That's not even an issue. Might be. I have some standards, probably. I don't know. They've probably never been tested fully. I, I mean, you know, you just don't have those kind of tests in life, you know, where a 400-pound woman walks up to you and just sticks to her and says, you want to fuck? And, you know, maybe, maybe I would want to at that moment. I don't know. Maybe. Depends on the moment. See, that's what it all comes down to, some kind of crap like that. All right, so anyway, let's get to the GoDaddy Sucks stuff, which, you know, I'll probably make a few GoDaddy Sucks videos just because they suck so bad, and they're just being such assholes. And you're just like, man, you know, but it's everywhere. Everything sucks. So anyway, I've had an account with them for 10 years, in, at least, and the services kind of sucked. It's never been very good. The website would be slow, or, you know, parts of it wouldn't load, and... Sometimes it wouldn't load at all. It just disappears for a few hours, you know. Kind of crap. And you just say, okay. So, you know, I, I, was, I had hosting accounts back in the old days where, oh, that shit happened all the time. And so you accept some of that. Because it's better than it was in the old days. But it still sucks. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but you accept it. Because you say, yeah, what the hell. Who cares? I'm not going to fight. So, um... There's been this problem, though, over the last few years. It's gotten a little worse, and I've been like, every time I get on the phone with them, I say, well, you know, you know, I don't want to have to transfer my domain names. I don't have to go through all this hassle. I mean, can't you just fix it? Well, you're on an older server. And I'm like, well, I didn't choose the fucking server I'm on. Why don't you put me on a good server? Well, that's okay. Uh, you just make a new account. I have an account. What do I got to make a new account for? So we can steal your money. <laughs> How else can we steal your money if you don't make a new account? Yeah, but see, they basically give you a new account that works, and you get to keep the one you paid for that doesn't work for free. Except you already paid for it. And you can't transfer the value of it. So you get to have, you get to pay twice. <laughs> yeah. To have one working account. And we'll throw in that one that doesn't work for free. I don't need two accounts. I need one that works. Fuckers. So anyway, so it's this whole thing. I mean, you run into this all over the place. <clears throat> Whenever you're a little bit conscientious, they punish you. It's like the classic welfare thing, right? So the person who doesn't get into debt and doesn't pay and does pay their bills and doesn't go extravagant, then the system says something like, "You're not poor enough." You, you saved $58 in your banking account. You can't get food stamps. But if you have tons of debt and you overspent and you overate, we'll give you everything, whatever you want. How can we help? Well, we're, we're, well, welfare, we will reward you for being the, if you can be the biggest, most preposterous cunt possible, molest some children, okay, yeah, be a child molester and a, 
uh, all kinds of drunken problems and we'll give you rehab and we'll do this and we'll do, we'll do everything we can for you. But behave responsibly, fuck you. And business runs the same way. The nicer you are as a client, you know, a customer, the more they just say, fuck that asshole, he's a sucker. Let's fuck him. Let's rape him good. And it's just, why do we live in an upside downium? I mean, it's just the backwards way to be living, isn't it? I mean, it's the whole Pyro shit. Oh, well, let's reward people for buying houses they can't afford. And let's make sure we punish the guy who didn't do that by taxing the fuck out of him. No. That's wrong. Wrong answer. So anyway, so I got this, you know, this dilemma with GoDaddy, and I, you know, I, I proved it because okay, I did the, I, I, I reconstructed the website, and so half the images are served by uh, DreamHost, and half by <coughs> there's actually six, but there's only three on the public thing, um, and and the other half are served by GoDaddy, and the GoDaddy ones are failing all the time now. I mean, they've just been out for two days. I can't get them to work at all. And uh, because I can't FTP to the account, and the DreamHost ones have been reliable. I haven't had to reset one of the one of the cameras had to reset. That's it. So, I mean, just glaring evidence that GoDaddy obviously is doing something different than DreamHost is doing, and the difference means the difference between it works and it doesn't work. And so anyway, so GoDaddy just wouldn't believe me. I'm telling them, look, I have FileZilla open. See. <laughs> See, GoDaddy guys, I have it open. I have it open. And I have both hosts open, both servers. And I want to move a file into DreamHost. It happens, boom, it's in. It happened before I even saw it happen. And I want to move a file on GoDaddy. I move it and it times out. And it times out again. Oh, it makes another third try. Or it takes 10 minutes. Or it takes, you know, 58 seconds. Regardless, it doesn't work. And the assholes give me an argument. Then he makes me ping and do this and do that because he's blaming my internet connection. I'm like, well, how does my internet connection different when I have both accounts open in FileZilla, right? Both, both of them are open in tabs. It's exactly the same software, the same pings, the same bullshit. It's obvious your servers are slower. Well, anyway, so he tells me my Verizon internet connection is inadequate. The $100 one, well, with my phone, it's $100. It's way too much. They're charging me $67 or something for an internet connection. <clears throat> and it's apparently a little slow. You're like, oh, great. So I'm getting fucked by Verizon, too. <clears throat> so I'll have to make a Verizon sucks video, but everybody already knows that. Uh, but do you have a choice? Like, well, yeah, you can always use Comcast. It's they certainly, oh, wait a minute, so it's just like the election, right? It's a choice between shit and double shit or triple shit. No, it's shit and shit and shit. I don't know, it's just really, 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 the margin between the shits are getting so thin that you're just like, it just isn't. Comcast, I want to do business with Comcast, no. So I got to find an internet provider that's not Comcast or Verizon. I wish I could go back to like uh, Juno. <laughs> I want to go back to dial-up. Fuck this shit. But I have an inter <laughs> but but they've converted my phone to you know internet shit, so it probably like, you probably can't get dial up because you'd have to do it over broadband. <laughs> Fuck. So anyway, so I'm stuck. You know, I'm just so I paid a year in advance, and they're punishing me by basically saying. No, we can't upgrade you to a better account until your account expires, and then you can have a new account. You see, so that way I don't get penalized. But if I change now, then I still pay for a year of a server that doesn't work. But they won't apply the money I paid to the new account. They won't refund my money. They won't let me even leave without making me pay for leaving. Why? Oh, because I fell for their sucker. Oh, why don't you just, you know, while you're at it, just buy a few extra months so you don't have to hassle with this shit. Yeah, okay. I didn't know the catch was 
we don't consider this payment a payment or something. You know, we have no obligation to consider any kind of contractual obligation to fulfill the terms of this contract. Like you're going to get actual internet service for what you just paid for, which is internet connectivity. Um, anyway, so I mean, it's just bad. So I guess I could just try to move an image real quick here. Slide it over. See how long it takes. <laughs> Connecting. Connection established. Waiting for welcome message. I'm waiting for the welcome message. No. It's not connect. This one ain't gonna happen. Go over to Dream Host. Let's try to move one to Dream Host. Slide over. Oh, it happened already. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. It's gone. Ah, excuse me. Um, fuck you, go daddy. Pretty much. Well, entirely, actually. Yeah. Substantially and entirely. So, that's the dilemma. Is, yeah, nothing you can do but complain. Say, fuck you, I'm going home. Update image. Oh, okay, it's in bytes. I was saying, what the fuck is that file? That's a huge file. How could it be an update image? It is a huge file. It's almost a gig. Must be, uh, must be something like, <laughs> yeah, well, must be like my email database or something. How do you cancel this thing? We just darn it. You cancel it. You could cancel this, please. Stop. Remove selected. That's good enough. Okay. Stop it. I don't have any space on the server either. So that's another problem. I don't have any space on GoDaddy. Uh, you know, it's just you know another problem, right? I guess it's a problem. So, um, oh yeah, they, you know. <laughs> That's the dream host thing. They actually did upload half the giant gigabyte file. They did really fast, though. But yeah, we don't need that, so we'll delete that. Thank you very much. Um, so, just in the time we were talking, they, they, they uploaded 270 megabytes, which isn't bad. Alright, well, enough. Uh, you don't need the details of this shit. So, but yeah, it just sucks because. I have reduced the number of domain names I have, so I am, you know, and I have a couple for other people. So, I, but I'm, you know, down to like seven, which is unmanageable, so it's not going to be that bad to transfer them all. But, I mean, just transferring is just a hassle, because you have to request it to move it, and then you have to say yes to your move, and then you have to, you know, from both places. But, you know, it's just, you know, these, these aggravations. So, anyway, GoDaddy does, in fact, suck. So, I mean, you know, the fact that it's their problem, they know. They always tell them, oh, it's an older server. They always say that. And then they say, well, that doesn't make any difference. Then why do you keep telling me that it's on an older server if it doesn't make a difference? Yeah, because it makes a difference. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway. Uh, you know, I'm just, you just got to say, like I said, you just keep putting up with shit because it's okay. It works most of the time. It's good enough. But now, there was, see, I wouldn't even have known that this, I would have thought the app didn't work, you know, for this whole whatever I'm doing thing, this, this whole live camera thing. I would have figured the app failed if I was using GoDaddy this week. So, the, with the connection they're giving me this week to my hosting, I would have figured the app's a piece of shit. It can't connect. So I wouldn't even known it worked. I would have just blamed the app. For GoDaddy's problem. So it just kind of, you know, it is sort of important. I mean, they're, you know, affecting destiny here with this lack of performance. Yeah. So the other kind of semi neat feature of the website is the comment thing actually works where <laughs> when you post a new comment, it actually gives you vocal recognition that a new comment has been posted. So, 
this, you know, somebody posted this, and then I heard it. <laughs> so, oh, a new comment. So that was kind of neat that it worked. I also fixed the old game page, which is interesting. So it's, uh, I'll post a regular link to it. So it says game images here. So now it resizes appropriately. So let's, let me do this like, like pretend that I'm on an Android or something. So we'll do a smaller version of the website. So I just make it this size for the fun of it. And um, so if I go to the thing, it says game images. So it's tool, whatever this stand, TL, what does that stand for? <laughs> I don't know. Tool links? I don't, know. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I have to change that. I have to fix these links, of course, because these are all pretty shitty. Um, but anyway, if you go to game images, see the images show up, and then you can get rid of all the boring ones and the dead ones. The icons, we can get rid of them. Get rid of this one because it's ugly. Got to keep 12, but. Uh, so by just clicking on it, you get rid of it. So the nothing images you can get rid of. The redundant images you can get rid of. You know, just get rid of stuff that's not... I don't know, this video stuff isn't very important. But I'm running out of possible images. Now they all look alike. So anyway, we'll just game these. But the point is, is it's sized properly now. So, <clears throat> lots of little things i got to fix about it, but it actually does work. So you click on it, no match. Uh, no match. See, yeah, those two are close, though. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this is going to be a tough version because these images are close. All right, I think it's this one and this one. No, man, they're really close. Uh, head down. Head down. I got one. Yay. Me for my... Ooh. Head down again. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Well, anyway, so this is a tough version of the game. Oh, those two match, but... There must be redundant. There's two. Uh, oh, see, I got him. That, got that pair right. All right. So anyway, but it works. That's the point. I mean, it, re it sizes properly, which is, you know, was a problem. So I fixed that. I got lots of other things to fix. Lots of things. See, see, all this stuff is just occupying my time now. All this programming jibber jabber, getting things to work on these. Uh, I mean, the bad news about the DreamHost thing is they're the way their server is configured. You got to go. <laughs> you gotta go beneath the domain name to actually upload something with the app, and then you have to go, you have to just run a, a CGI script to grab the file from the invisible space and bring it to a visible space, you know, on the domain name, which is kind of retarded. So it adds another little bit of server, um, must do. So there's some more of this Donald Trump stuff. Um, but anyway, I gotta finish that. So, remind me. I have, to, I have an obligation to finish that. Alright, so the other shit. Um, there just this shit everywhere. Um, it's, I, you know, I was looking at, so I was going, I went to the websites of the two, like Bernie Sanders and. Uh, yes, it takes a lot of load. It must be on GoDaddy. Um. And Donald Trump's website and Bernie Sanders' website. I figure Hillary's irrelevant, but she's just typical DNC. And DNC is now just warmongering welfare placator, so, you know, there's not much news there. I mean, Hillary's just going to be Bill Clinton some more, right? Uh, more Obama, you know, useless, unprogressive, regressive. Pro capitalist cunt bags, shit bags, same old bullshit. But, you know. And, you know, so, I mean, she's sort of irrelevant. So, in the sense, she's the safest bet because she's just the status quo, bad politics of the Democratic Party, which is pro government employees, pro welfare whore, <laughs> you know, uh, and now pro war. They're pro war now, the Democrats. So, well, anyway. So I go to Trump's page, and it's a nothing. I mean, it's vacuous. He has, I mean, technically these are redundant, <laughs> you know, proposals. So he doesn't even have six proposals, because some of them are redundant. Um, I, I mean, just pay for the wall? <laughs> I mean, really, he really thinks he's going to sell this idea that somehow he's going to make the poor Mexicans pay for the wall, or the rich Mexicans pay for the wall. I don't think he's going to be able to do either one of those. Do you? Do you really think he's going to be able to do either one of those? And 
you know, we know that if you do that, well, that's like a trade war or something. So we're going to pay for it in the end because we'll have to pay more for whatever we import from Mexico. So we're going to pay for the fucking wall. <clears throat> and again, the whole point of the wall is just so stupid because it's not about the stupid. Even if you, even if you could build the wall for free. It's, you know, again, a wall without soldiers on it isn't going to survive all the mockeries and the, 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 the it's going to get desecrated so thoroughly. I mean, it would be just fun to watch the wall, you know, audit with its automated computer system. You're desecrating me! Stop! Violation! Violation! It'll be like, it'll be like Lost in Space robot, and it'll just wave its arms and... <laughs> Stop it! You're being bad! You know. I mean, it's just going to be... you know. So I guess it would be worth it just for the fun of watching that. Because if you don't put soldiers getting a salary on your wall, your wall is going to get turned into a piece of shit. So anyway, it's going to get droned, motherfucker. The old kind of, <laughs> the old kind of drone, which is piles of manure flung with catapults, you know. Uh, it's going to get buried under shit. Anyway, but I mean, this, it's just such, it's so vacuous. So here's a guy, 10 billion fucking dollars in net worth, and this is, this is the extent of his economic page. I mean, it's, it's, and it's just all drivel. I mean, colossal drivel. You know, the kind of drivel where our 42 million American households will save an average of $1,000. They win. <laughs> you know, that kind of bullshit. And when you add that up, that's, oh, well, that's what? The cost of keeping an aircraft carrier at sea for one year. <laughs> yeah, gee. Uh, that'll solve the problem. And then the whole thing is like, where's the money coming from, though? You know? We're going to give you money, and we're going to take it from nowhere. Nobody. So we're going to lower everybody. No, that doesn't work, right? Well, anyway, it says here, I, I mean, I want to do, do this thoroughly, go through the whole thing. But there's one part where it says here, you know, the American dream. And he does it at the same time he's defending no taxation for inheritance. So it's not like having a $5 million or a $20 million limit to inheritance. No limitation. No taxation of any inheritance. And he says that's the American dream. Being a monarch, essentially, is the American dream. Monarchy is the American dream. I guess I misunderstood. <laughs> you know, gee, I shouldn't have signed up for this American thing. Because that's certainly not my dream. It's not what I thought the Constitution was sort of talking about. I was talking about the we the people thing and all that kind of crap. And the whole principle was get rid of the monarchs. Violate the ownership claims of the monarch. The British Empire had already paid for it. It was their property. I think he owed them reparations, Donald. Well, anyway, so he's going to get all his money, this this really, you know, uh, uh, one time we will f steal $2 trillion of corporations' foreign investments, whatever that means, right? So they have money overseas. They don't have money overseas in bank accounts doing nothing. They have money invested overseas. Uh, you know, this whole taxing business thing is just so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, you tax income, personal income income. If a business spends its money on business infrastructure, then it shouldn't be taxed. The profits shouldn't be taxed because it's building the business. Right? Now, if people are taking a personal cut or it's paying it in dividends to stockholders, that's personal income and that should be taxed as income, profit. Is this complicated? No, this is not complicated. And the same, they always do this small business jive that somehow you can't tax people making three or four hundred thousand dollars a year owning their own small business. You know, doctors, whatever, whoever these people are, where they're making that much money in their small business. Um, yeah, but if they're taking the money, if they're taking the profits of the business as personal income to buy a personal home or a personal swimming pool, then it's income for fuck's sake. It doesn't have anything to do with running the business then, does it? No. 
It has to do with their personal comfort and luxury. That should be taxed, fuckers. It's personal income, not business income. It's personal income. Anyway, it's just so bad. So, so you know, Ronald Reagan at least had some, you know, as much as the, as the system sucks, and Reagan wasn't certainly didn't have $10 billion, but he could hire some people that were actually economists and stuff, and this was written probably by Sarah Palin, or one of her cronies, <laughs> which, you know, I used to know. It's this is written by an imbecile, yes. So anyway, and that's what he does. For this is I have ten billion dollars, and that's the best I can do. This is the best I can do, and offer you an explanation for how I'm going to change America, make America great. I mean, ten billion dollars, and even his merchandise couldn't be more clip art. I mean, this is just. Ten, you, you paid ten million dollars. I mean, you, you have ten billion dollars, and you couldn't buy a better piece of fucking clip art than that. Or that? I mean, you couldn't. You know, or this? Make America great again in boring type on a boring cap. How cool is that? And red and blue. No one's thought of that before. And white. I mean, I would have been hiring, like, Freudian psychology people. Uh, you know, I could afford them, right? I could afford a ton of these people and say, what, you know, show me the logo that's going to make somebody shit their pants for me. <laughs> you know, this ain't going to make anybody shit no pants. Ugh. Anyway. Headwear. So, that you know, they have all this signature. Oh, signage. Signage. Oh, sorry. So I was selling a signature. But the signs are just as boring. I mean, this is just such a great look. This whole baseball cappy thing. Ooh. <laughs> Make America great again on camouflage. Right. We need soldiers for the wall. So, yeah, Trump's anti-war, but he's pro-soldiers on walls. Anyway, it's just so bad. So, anyway, and then the Bernie Sanders... This, it starts off good, okay? The rich are preposterously rich. The top 1% have, 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 here they were at the peak of the Depression, uh, you know, 1929, and yeah, they're right back where they were at 1929. That's right, they're monarchs again. And the working class were going up, up, up in wages, and oh, the, since Ronald Reagan, there's the peak. Reagan, it's all doomed since. Yeah, that pretty much says the story of what's wrong with America. Right there, working people, fuck you. Inheritance loafers, you win. That's the truth, Donald. <laughs> you know, it's just so obvious. But he does, then he puts this shit on here. Child poverty rate. In Norway, fin how many black people in Norway? How many black people in Finland? How many up in Denmark? How many Mexicans over there? Oh, that's right, none. And then the United States with 32. Right, right, yes. Kids are born in poverty because retards have kids and we're importing retards. What is the white population poverty rate and child production rate? So show that chart, you'll see a negative fucking number for the, <laughs> for, for the birth rate. And, uh, you yeah, know, the poverty rate will go down to something like 10%. So just pretend that the, we don't know what the cause of that obscene number is and it's that we've decided to import a bunch of refuge re, 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 wretched refuse with the pretend notion that there's some kind of physical labor to do here where they could like dig ditches or you know put rails down for the trains that we don't use anymore no there is no dumb people work anymore there's jobs for smart people. There ain't a lot of jobs for dumb people. Fact. And certainly not anything called a good job. You can't make an honest living doing road work. <clears throat> or whatever you want to call it. It's probably the wrong thing to say because that's, the, you know, they still got a decent labor union. So anyway, but that, you know, he's got 76 proposals here about, you know, just giving, you know, free education, Free this, free that, no way to pay for it. I mean, just yes, it's the same old promise uh, way too much, and you'll deliver nothing. And it's just, you know, 
It's just more Obama bullshit, you know. Obama was big on the rich are too rich, and he didn't do one motherfucking thing about it. I'm not saying Bernie won't do anything about it, but I'm just saying this is un, this is just totally unrealistic. We can't afford the high school education. You're already taxing people out of their houses to provide, and you want to pile on more. <clears throat> Who's going to pay for it, fucker? Fuck you. So really, no answer here. You know, this, this fucking pro-immigrant bullshit of the Democrats. Well, fuck you. I don't see how you can possibly be somebody who's for progressive economics or progressive culture and say, yes, but let's, let's invite <coughs> the, the menace of the, the blight that has ruined every third world country. Let's invite them to blight us. And that's exactly what's happening. There's no... It's just... It's, it's, I'm just saying, it's just obvious. I can't call anything without... Press uno, dos, to espanol, blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. Who wants to live in, in diversia? I don't. So, again, if that's the American dream, is to live in diversia? No. Fuck you. I, I had a different vision thing. <sighs> Let's see. You cannot take advantage of all the benefits of America if you refuse to accept your responsibility as Americans. Well, exactly how are you uh, making... See, that's, he, he, talks like, he talks to that way to the billionaires who hide their money in foreign banks, but he doesn't talk that way to the scum who show up here and say, where's my welfare check? Can I have 15 kids on the dole? <laughs> he doesn't tell them they have to have any responsibility as Americans. They don't even have the responsibility to call themselves Americans. They don't have responsibility to even be officially a citizen. Uh, fuck that. So, GoDaddy sucks, Trump sucks, Bernie sucks, Hillary sucks. Everything. You all suck for accepting this. Somehow this is acceptable. Thunderfoot sucks. The Amazing Atheist sucks. They all, everything, all this stuff sucks, and you people keep applauding. Will you people? Wrong audience. Obviously, I can't talk to the suck because the suck aren't here listening to me, calling them suck. So sorry to offend you, non sucks. But I, all I have is the non sucks to talk to. So, <laughs> and I have a real need to call the sucks suck. So, sorry, I got suck on you. I didn't mean to imply you suck. But you probably do, because you post comments and, you know. Well, are you voting for Bernie? I don't know. I, I really have no interest. I mean, I'm the last person who I thought would ever say, I just couldn't give a shit. Because these aren't good enough choices. I'm hoping somebody will show up, you know, in the real election do an independent thing. Just show up and say, look, I'm, all right, yes, I had sex with a 12-year-old when I was 18, but, you know, blah, 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 you know, things happen. Uh, some tainted person will show up and say, look, I suck, but I suck so much less than these lying pieces of crap. And I'll vote for that. But I can't reward the Democratic Party. I just can't. This whole, ah, uh, we love welfare whore crap, I'm just so sick of it. I'm just so fucking sick of it. I've been mean, preposterously sick of it. And now they're warmongers. Israel can do oh, I'm pro Israel, pro pro warmongering. We gotta need more more causers of strife and bullshit in the world. Let's I still don't. They killed Gaddafi. Why? <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no good answers. So fuck you. Fuck the democratic warmongering, welfare whoring Goddamn party. Fuck it. It doesn't have any vision thing. It doesn't have any... It's not, not going to fix the problem. It can't even identify the problem. It thinks businesses are making too much money. No, individuals are making too much money. The top 0.01% are making too much money. They're not even making the money. This is the wrong way to put it. They're inheriting it. God damn it. They're doing absolutely nothing of merit and being rewarded. That isn't rational. But again, it's back ass word ya. Everything is backwards. <sighs> it really is. It really it's, it's, the world has gone backward. 
It's got its head so far up its ass. Um, however to metaphor it. So anyway, I'm done, I think. So anyway, I, this is why no videos. It's just I'm just so well, bleak on this whole thing. And I'm just tired of, you know, having to do all this little fiddle-faddling crap with all this technology crap and... You know, adjust the, the, the software I'm writing and this and that because of this stupid shit. You know, now i got to identify which server I'm requesting something from because the server's too fucking slow. And this, one, I mean, it's just irritating. You have to engineer solutions to fucking goddamn problems that shouldn't fucking exist. Yeah. So that's my statement. So anyway... <clears throat> There will be eventually audio files here and video and other there'll actually be something in the best of and the animated gifs and you know figured out how to do that so i want to make some of those but i don't have any that are non-obscene <laughs> so i have to wait till i have some non-obscene one uh, likewise with backgrounds and stuff so none of these links do anything you know, you just hit them and they don't do anything yet something eventually so anyway that's enough. But, uh, you know, it should be eventually. Nice. It's raining today. So I did, I put up my little greenhousey thing. $60 bargain there. That was a real bargain. Fantastic bargain, bargain, bargain. But really, eventually, there should be like little hummingbirds will show up here. So we should get some good images eventually. Eventually. Well, you know, good in sort of generic, boring sense. But anyway. Well, anyway, so I've got lots, lots of shit going on, but it's also happening in this real world that I live in that I work in for the landlord. I got totally dissed because the, I mean, he, I, you know, the evil. He, he just placated evil, and you're just like, oh, so you're gonna fuck me over, so you can, you know, uh, <laughs> create a bridge for evil to walk across, and that kind of, you know, just this whole. I mean, you're just, this ain't how it's supposed to work. Reward and punishment should have something to do with merit and uh, evil. Good and evil, yeah. <laughs> it just should be a direct connection. So anyway, and it's just fucking evil for people like Trump to call anybody a loser when he had such a preposterous cheat in life. Such a preposterous cheat. Where would Donald Trump be today if he was born to a dirt farmer in Iowa? It's just so, that, I mean, the lack of humility <clears throat> and respect for the truth that he never fought a fair fight in his life is just disgusting. It's really disgusting. I mean, like, really, really, really disgusting. And the fact that some of you people don't even think it's disgusting is bad. <laughs> but it's really, 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 really disgusting. You know, the fact you're not getting that is... Well, I said that backwards, but this fact that you can't even see the disgusting part is just disgusting itself. It's so disgusting. Anyway. All right, now I'm done. I don't, there's nothing. So anyway, back back to the usual crap. Eventually, I'll settle into something here. It's just you know a lot of stuff on my mind. The whole physics thing. You know, I'm still watching uh, physics lectures every day. You know, a little bit half an hour every day and um, you know just trying to get the jargon down to figure out where they make the and then you know they're, it's so obvious where they're making errors you know they think a photon is the same thing as an electron they don't it's just bigger or smaller but same thing no, it's not even close to the same thing and that's where they really whoops you know slipped on their own poo there so anyway but uh, yeah I shouldn't have to, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know. I just imagine what the world would look like if I was the one with the ten billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. You people would be. You'd know there was some ass kicking going on. Yeah, man. I mean, how, how can you even have ten billion dollars and you have no imagination? And then you decide to run for president and you can't even 
recognize that you should probably have the greatest um, philosophy website on the internet. You know, economic philosophy, cultural philosophy, vision thing. I mean, it should all be there. Ten billion dollars. Oh. This is pitiful.